Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. Uh, in this episode, I am going to be showing you guys, this is kind of prepping up to uh, the editing episode, which will be coming up next. Uh, but I want to kind of go through shortcuts because shortcuts are going to be very important to, to what we're going to be doing when I'm showing you guys how to uh, do editing in Premiere. So what a shortcut is, and they also call them hotkeys. Hotkeys are shortcuts. Uh, they are basically keys that you can use on your keyboard uh, rather than using the visual interface. And oftentimes that makes editing uh, a lot faster. It speeds up your editing process, especially once you start to memorize those things. It's, uh, it, it speeds things up and makes it a lot faster than having to like move your mouse from screen to screen. I've shown a couple of these in previous episodes. Like First of all, say you're working in the project area right here. I've clicked in the project area and I've got this blue highlight right here. And you want to work in your timeline. You can move your mouse over and you can click inside your timeline and now it highlights your timeline. And now you're working within your timeline. But if you know the shortcuts for that, you can do this a lot quicker and more efficiently by hitting, and this is one thing I've covered, but I'm just going to showing an example of a shortcut here. I'm holding down the key shift, and while holding down the key shift, hitting uh, the numbers on the top of the keyboard, one, two, three, Four, and that jumps through these uh, shortcuts here. And those shortcuts hitting Shift 1, 2, 3, 4 will jump from those windows. So Shift 1, I'm in my project window, and once again, if I want to jump to my uh, timeline, I can hold, hit down Shift 3, and it jumps to that window, and now I'm operating out of that window. My goal here is to keep my hands mostly on the keyboard and away from the mouse. On occasion, there's reasons that will kind of force you to use the mouse, but the idea is to get your editing, keep your hands on your keyboard where you don't have to keep moving them back and forth, and keep everything uh, moving very quickly. So one example of using your shortcuts here is let's say we want to grab uh, maybe this clip right here and move it to the end of the timeline right there. And you could do that. What you'd have to do is you'd have to go down here. First of all, I want to zoom out and see the end of my timeline. So I'd grab this little slider right here and drag this so you can see the end of the timeline here. And now I'm going to grab this clip here and I'm going to drag it to the end here. And let's say we want to eliminate this space right here. I could grab all this footage here. And see, I'm doing all this with the mouse. I'm going to drag it over and fill that space. Now I've put that clip at the very end of the timeline right there, but let's show a different way of doing that, just st sticking strictly to the keyboard and using shortcuts. So I'm going to do that, undo that sequence of moves, and, and, and this is one way of using uh, a shortcut here. This is going to be Command Z, which is undo. I've got an episode coming up on undoing, redoing, and history, but I'll hit Command Z or Control Z on a PC, and that undoes a move. I'm going to do it again, Command Z, and that undid that move twice by using that shortcut Command Z. So I've done all those undos and now I'm back in my project window here. I've got this highlighted. So I'm going to do this all on the keyboard. Same moves. I'm going to hit Shift 3. It jumps to the timeline and I want to uh, select this clip right there. And I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit arrow down. Arrows up and down will jump between the edits. Arrow down will jump to the edits to the right. Now I'm right there on that, on that clip. And I'm going to hit D to select and D, deselected that clip. Command or Control X. If you're on a Mac, it's Control X. It's Command X. If you're on a PC, Control X. That will now you can hit D to select this space and delete it. It's cut that clip and it's on a clipboard now. Now you can just hit N to go to the end of my timeline and Command V to paste. And there it is right there. And that I stayed completely on the keyboard the entire time, didn't use my mouse. And now I'm going to hit backward slash above the return or, en or enter key. And uh, look, there's my entire timeline. So I ended up grabbing this clip from over here, moved it, and I deleted that space right there. And I did that all using keyboard shortcuts. I'm co of course, I'm not teaching you all the shortcuts right this minute because there are so many shortcuts, it's impossible to just sit there. It would take hours just to sit there and go through them all. So what I will do over the course of all these episodes is I will teach you the shortcuts that I'm using as I'm teaching you to edit, how to sound mix, how to, how to color grade, all those things uh, upcoming in Premiere Pro. All right, so we're going to show you how to customize shortcuts and use shortcuts and how those shortcuts work. Uh, first of all, we're going to show you how to bring up the shortcut panel. And that shortcut panel on a Mac, you're going to go under Premiere Pro and hit keyboard shortcuts right there. And on a PC, you're going to go under edit and under edit on a PC, you will find the keyboard shortcuts here down toward the bottom. And it will bring up this panel uh, right here. Since we're talking about shortcuts, let's talk about the shortcuts, how to bring open the shortcut panel. If you don't want to take your mouse all the way up and hit on this and click on there, uh, you've got that shortcut right there. Uh, this little symbol right there stands for your option key on the Mac, uh, and that's going to be Alt on a PC, the Alt key, and this command here, that's your command key, and on a PC, that's going to be your control key. So on a PC, you would do Control Alt K, and it will bring it open. On a Mac, it's going to be Command Option K. And keep in mind that pretty much all the time, whenever we say Option on a Mac, it's going to be the Alt key on a PC. And when we say Command, the command is going to be Control. And pretty much 
all the time when I say command, when you do a, a shortcut key with holding down the command key, that's going to be control on a PC. And when you hold down the option key on a Mac, that's going to be the alt key on a PC. So just remember that. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here so I can see it a little better. Now what we've got here is we've got this keyboard layout. And uh, some of these you're gonna notice this kind of solid uh, magenta purplish color there. And then on some of them you see this slash with a green on it. That basically means that you have, for each one that's in, in magenta or purple here, that means it just basically has one shortcut assigned to that key. If it has a slash, that usually means there's going to be a couple ones that are assigned to that key. And basically that means they can have, depending on what window you're in, these are going to have different functionalities within those windows. I showed how to do, how to uh, move into different windows here by hitting shift one, two, three, four. And like I said, if it has that slash, let's go to command option K, open that window back up. And if it has that slash, it's going to have different functionalities depending on what window you're in. And you can hover over each one of these here and it will show you the different commands for different Windows or different, if you're doing what's called an application, if you're doing an application shortcut, if you're in the production panel, if you're in the project panel, it shows you the shortcuts for these different panels. This can get kind of complex because uh, like I said, there are a ton of shortcuts, a huge, huge list of shortcuts. If you go down into this, if you go down into this window down here, it shows you, it has it narrowed down into application and into panels. And each under each one, you're going to arrow these down and you're going to find just tons and tons and tons of different uh, shortcuts. In fact, if you go online, and search the keyboard shortcuts, uh, Adobe will have a huge list of all these shortcuts and what they do. Sometimes if you're looking for a specific shortcut, I, I just usually go online and I'll Google it and I usually find it within seconds. Up here at the top, we've got keyboard layout presets. Now these presets, the Adobe Premiere Pro default is going to be Adobe's own shortcuts here that they've kind of programmed in, into uh, their software. Uh, they have the, kind of the CS6 old old uh, shortcuts. They've done, done some, uh, not major changes, but some minor changes here and there to update it that has been more efficient. So I usually stick with the Pre Premiere Pro default. If you're coming from a different software uh, like Avid or Final Cut, they do not have Final Cut uh, 10. They just have Final Cut 7. Most of the shortcuts in Final Cut Pro 10 are were based off of Final Cut Pro 7. Uh, they don't have DaVinci Resolve uh, shortcuts in here either. A lot of the DaVinci Resolve shortcuts are based off of the Final Cut Pro 7 shortcuts. So if you select that, it's going to change all the shortcuts down here. If you're an old-fashioned uh, Final Cut Pro user, uh, this might be more intuitive for you. And I use, I come from, uh, in the past, I used Avid a, a little bit and, and mostly Final Cut Pro uh, up till Final Cut Pro 7. And when I went into Premiere Pro, I just found it was easier to just start learning their uh, keyboard shortcuts. It's good to know different keyboard shortcuts from software to software. It's almost like learning a different language. And when you go into each editing software, if, if you're using several... If you're using several different editing software, then you then you can easily jump from software to software and just start using their shortcuts if you learn that language. Down here under the search engine, if you are looking for a specific uh, shortcut, you can and see what that is. You can click in here and you can type in. Now let's do mark and endpoint. Mark in. In fact, everything mark. Look at this. I don't even have to do mark in because it brings up markers right here. And I've got these shortcuts right here. For so for a mark in, you move over and you look at this. This is a letter I. I for endpoint. All you have to do is hit the letter I, and it and it marks in. In fact, you can see that up on that right there. Mark in is letter I. Uh, there's your mark out is O, and you can see that it's like mark out right there. But once again, this has uh, a couple of different depending on what window you're in. It has different functions for the O key. And right here, there are two. One for the application, which is the standard one, is just O, hit, you hit O, and it does a mark out. Uh, but then they got this legacy, legacy title or panel, which I don't even use anymore. So really, for all intents and purposes, this letter O is just mark out. But on the legacy title panel, it brings open uh, the rotation tool. Now, one thing that you can do down in this panel here is you can program your own custom shortcuts. One that I like to do is when, when I'm syncing and merging audio with video, if you have sync sound that you're shooting on, on a film shoot, the function in here is when you're syncing that footage up and merging them together as synced clips is the function merge. And M-E-R-G-E, -E -R -G -E. uh, and you'll notice down here, merge clips, and we move over to the shortcut, and there's no shortcut assigned for it. I'm not sure why they did This is a kind of a popular function, so I'm not sure why they haven't assigned a shortcut. But we can change uh, shortcuts or add shortcuts if they don't have a shortcut assigned by moving over to the shortcut area, clicking on shortcut here, and it highlights the merge. Now we click on shortcut, and it brings open this little uh, blank panel here, and saying, what do you want to add as a shortcut? I happen to know that to command option G or control alt G on a PC is an unused shortcut. If it is a used shortcut, it's going to warn you that the, the shortcut is already used by another function. Now, now it's waiting for me to type that in. So I'm going to hold down command, shift. I'm holding down command and shift at the same time and hitting G. 
and it just assigned that shortcut there. Now you can hit this X and basically clear it out if you want to, but I'm going to leave that in, do Command Shift G, and I've added my own custom shortcut for that function. Now if you want to change something else, let's say you want to change how you mark your endpoint here. So I'm going to cancel this. We're going to go to mark in. And notice up here, after I added that shortcut, it has now gone to a custom layout because it's no longer on the default. The default doesn't have that merge function. So now we are on custom. So if I go to down to the search and I do mark in, I can go down to the I. If I don't like that key for some reason, it's a very common key for editing and most uh, editing software where like uh, DaVinci Resolve or uh, Final Cut ha or Avid has I and O for the endpoint and out point. So it's very standard. But let's say I don't like it. I want to change it. I'm going to clear out my endpoint here. I'm going to click in here and it'll bring it open. And I want to use the letter N as my shortcut. And now down here, it has told me, it says the shortcut is already used by another command. This command will no longer have a shortcut. So it pulled it, so it took that shortcut away. It took the letter N, which chooses the role editing tool uh, away from me. So now I've got this letter N here. Uh, and right down here, you'll notice that mark N is now N. And let's say I want to change O. So normally I wouldn't do this. There are some shortcuts I, I like to change and customize, but 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 these these ones I, I wouldn't change. I'm just showing this as an example. So I'm going to clear out this one, and I'm going to select that, and I'm going to use the letter M. So I got N and M next to each other, endpoint and outpoint, and M. And then once again, it warned me. It says this is this was being used by add marker, so that will no longer have a shortcut. This is all being added under this custom short. So I've got the merge and now the new endpoint and outpoint in here. And now I can say, let's say I've customized this. I've done some customization and I like it. And I want this to be my own personal keyboard layout. I can do save as. It'll ask you what you want to save it as. And I'll put it as chin fats, chin fats crazy shortcuts. There we go, that's been added there, and now that is my custom one. I can go back to the Premiere Pro default if I want to, and it changed it back to in and out point, I know for in and out point, or I can go down to Chin Fat's custom shortcuts, and now I've got that merge added, I've got everything added, and now I've got my own shortcut layout. All right, just for the rest of this here, I'm gonna go back to the Premiere Pro default. Uh, you can also delete these as well, so I'm just gonna delete that right now. Delete, okay, and now that uh, custom layout is gone. Notice it will not let you delete the keyboard uh, layouts that has been created by Premiere. That's those are going to always be there. So I'm going to go back to Premiere Pro default. And one more thing I want to show you is using your keyboard uh, while this panel is opened, it will show you what keyboard shortcuts you have access to. Now keep in mind, these are single keystrokes here where you just hit these numbers here. You just hit these uh, letters and numbers here on your keyboard and it will show you what those keyboard shortcuts are. Like right here, slip tool. I'm going to hit the letter Y. Watch, watch down here. It shows you what you're striking and what the keyboard shortcut is that you're hitting on my keyboard. So right now I'm going to physically hit my keyboard. I'm going to hit the Y key and it will bring it up and say, uh, modifiers, that means you're not holding down any additional keys. It's just a single key, so no modifiers. It is just, if you hit the letter Y, it is the slip tool. If you hit the letter I, it is mark in. Hit the letter O, uh, rotation tool on, in, in that legacy panel, but the mark out right there. So it's showing you what the commands are when you hit these keyboard keys. If you primarily hit a key like shift Option, Command, or Control, these are called modifier keys. If you hit those down, it'll modify what happens to these kind of single keystrokes over here. And you can even do combinations like Command, Shift, Command, Option, Control, Shift. There are a bunch of different uh, modifiers you can hold down two at a time that will change it. So let's try Shift right now. I'm going to hold down Shift and look at the keyboard layout change. And while I'm holding down Shift, it shows that I'm holding down the modifier Shift key here. Now it has changed these things. And now shift I, look at that, uh, it has now changed to go to endpoint. So if I hit, I'm holding down shift and I hit the letter I, look down in my, uh, inside, inside the bottom right hand window there and it says go to end. So it will jump on a clip to its endpoint. And now if you hold down shift and O, it goes, it jumps to the out point. It also opens in the source monitor. And it, there's also a couple other uh, shortcuts here where it says open it in source monitor. That's when you're holding, when you've selected a clip in your project window and you hit shift O, it'll open that clip into your source monitor. Let's try one more here. Let's do command. And there's a bunch of functions right there. So command, command O for open project, command I for import, command C for copy, cut and paste, uh, command Z for undo, a whole bunch of command ones here, Com command Q, quit premiere. And now let's try Command Shift, and those are the list of keyboard shortcuts when you're holding down the Command Shift uh, modifier keys. Command plus Shift, so that would be Control plus Shift on a PC. But notice every time you go from just the main keyboard layout to Command, you have less shortcuts, and then when you do Command Shift, you have even less shortcuts. And let's do Command Option Shift, uh, and notice we have like 
no keyboard shortcuts there. So let's say you have some functions that you prefer, that you want to be using and there are no uh, shortcuts for it. See, there are several down here that have no shortcuts. Uh, there's tons of them that have no shortcuts. Uh, that, uh, that And you, you want a specific shortcut for it. First of all, you can search it to see if it's there. Like I said, merge. And merge does not have one. So now I can select the shortcut here. And we sh I showed this already, but you can do Command, Option, and then look at all the letters you have here that don't have any shortcut assigned to Command, Option. And even less so, Command, Option, Shift has absolutely no shortcuts right there. Well, these over here on the left and right arrow, but look at all these open ones that you have to access here uh, under Command, Option, Shift. Yeah, it's like the more modifiers you're holding down, the less and less uh, keyboard shortcuts are used up. So. With that being said, we're going to be getting into editing in the next episode and showing you some keyboard shortcuts that pertain to actually editing your movie. Well, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, let me know.